Hello everyone, this is Kelly Beard of KarmicTools.com and this is your weekly forecast for June 9th to the 15th of 2024. Since we have so much Saturn this week, I thought the quote should be about doing a personal resource audit. Recognize that your inner resources of hard-won resilience, life experience, self-determination, and earned wisdom are all just as important as your physical, material, and financial assets. Deep breath. So world, social, collective, Western culture, patriarchy, whatever you want to call it, will have you all on the outer with no time left to focus on the inner. And this week we need to integrate both and value both and assess both. So let's dive in. I got the Jupiter replay done. It's linked in here, 49 minutes. It was a wonderful session covering Jupiter and Gemini. And our first activation of the week is on Sunday the 9th when Sun will square Saturn. With this energy, it is best to understand that you may have two distinct poles within. Obligations to others versus responsibility to the self. It is not nearly as bad as it feels, However, it does bring up something we all work really hard to balance to some degree or another. Self and others. How much do you owe yourself and how much are you obligated to others? Balance and reciprocity come to mind as guides. One of the challenges of this influence is making negative assumptions that there is no support for you when, in truth, you haven't asked for any. And help must be invited. Saturn brings up our relationship to time, and some people may feel restricted as if life, other, outer, is all too demanding, and that there's never any time just for the individual. This activation is a push to grow. It's time to hold your own structure in some way and reclaim your inner authority to direct your own life. Others may find their lives falling apart because they have avoided responsibilities for so long, and now there's no more wiggle room. Rather than have a meltdown, take a nap and resolve to wake up with a plan, a strategy for taking the next step, even if that means simply asking for help or guidance from someone older and wiser. It's time to deepen your dedication and commit to yourself in a whole new way. Recognize any current limitations and work with the resources at hand for now. The sun usually illuminates the core essential nature of self, so see where you may be stuck and need to break out of a rut of some sort and trust that taking charge, making a decision, and choosing a direction is actually inviting help from the universe to support your new direction. Ashe. Now here comes another square. On Tuesday the 11th, Mars squaring off with Pluto. Never an easy one. And this is Taurus to Aquarius. So it's some of our essential needs and basics squaring off with our vision of the future or concept of our unique contribution. So let's think about the lessons that are up right now. Think about how Mars rules who you are and what you want and usually involves our actions and choices, while Pluto always has to do with purification and transformation. So deep breath. This is a profound test of your inner strength and core identity demanding a certain level of surrender and an increased self-awareness in order to navigate successfully. It challenges you to evolve, urging you to master challenges and surmount obstacles, while cautioning against any overly aggressive behavior that could harm yourself or others in the process. If approached with wisdom, this potent energy holds the potential for significant transformation, provided that you are personally clear on your identity, desires, and choices, and willing to make the necessary sacrifices for your own growth and evolution. Power struggles, both internal and external, may arise with this one, as this energy impacts everyone at this juncture. It is a critical period to tie up loose ends before embarking on new beginnings, as unfinished business could hinder future endeavors. Aligning your inner power with balanced actions and considered choices is paramount during this time of intensity and transformation. Indeed, deep breath. Balanced actions and considered choices. No snap decisions, no knee-jerk reactions. We don't want to react, we want to respond. 
Wednesday the 12th is Mercury squaring off with Saturn. So you see how many challenges we had this week. Now we got our thinking and our reality, you know, sort of our perception and our reality squaring off. And this is Gemini to Pisces, so it's our thinking and our emotions. It's a lot going on there. This energy favors introspective contemplation and moments of intentional solitude over engaging in negotiations or communications with others, as it may pose challenges around your own self-expression. There is a likelihood of feeling misunderstood while attempting to convey your thoughts, which might cause others to perceive your serious demeanor as something negative, despite it being a more contemplative vibration. Generally, this activation is not conducive energy for business discussions unless all parties involved have absolute clarity on every detail. Under this influence, self-criticism tends to intensify and it might also extend toward others. And it might also extend toward judging and criticizing others. Saturn's influence serves as a mirror, revealing weaknesses or instabilities, signaling areas that require resolution, stabilization, or fortification, while Mercury offers avenues for learning and new ideas. Be cautious of leaning toward apathy, pessimism, or feelings of depression, as they are rooted in the mental realm, and Saturn can call them into literal manifestation. Deep breath. Redirect your focus toward acknowledging your current blessings and past accomplishments instead of fixating on the pending tasks at this time. Understand that this energy does not intend to burden you with feelings of inadequacy, but rather encourages taking the initial steps and embracing incremental progress. This energy tends to direct your attention toward the practical aspects of manifesting your goals. Clear mental clutter and emotional blockages in order to lay a new sturdy foundation for your aspirations. Then strategize meticulously about the finer details required for actualizing these goals, a process that can uplift your spirits as well. Ashe. That's that dreaming and expanding the vision and activating your imagination that can inspire and uplift and give you new ideas. Well, you know the drill. We got to raise our vibration first and then call in any new vision. Now, if we embrace all that change in our thinking, our actions and choices, and our essential nature and purpose at this moment, all growing and transforming the reality and purpose across the board. Now you get Mercury conjunct Sun, which is a new cycle. This compelling energy urges you to express yourself across multiple layers of existence. Communication stands at the forefront, yet it is crucial that it flows both ways, a genuine exchange of ideas. As you step into this fresh cycle of self-expression, you will be able to harness potent energy that is likely to leave a lasting impact or create a meaningful difference in the lives of others should the need arise. It is an opportune moment for travel, whether physical or within the realms of your mind, through visualization or even exploring new facets in your immediate surroundings. Exploring uncharted paths can reveal unforeseen discoveries. This energetic influx brings forth a torrent of information. Staying alert is paramount. For those grounded and organized, this phase may yield well-deserved recognition from others, a testament to the individual efforts that you have poured into your endeavors. Embrace this influx of energy. Allow it to guide you toward new experiences and insights, while remaining open to the flow of communication and exchange that aligns with your authentic self-expression. So there is an evolution going on with how you express yourself, where your reality and purpose are concerned. And this is just a heads up for next week. We don't have any live events this week. But next week, and before the next four, well, the forecast may go up earlier than this, but Sunday the 16th is Ye Ye's book party. And it's live in Oakland, California. If you're a local, you can be there in person at the Sanctuary Boutique where... She is having the Spirit of Dance book party. This is going to be a performance. It's going to be amazing. But for the rest of us, we'll have to join on Zoom at 7 p.m. Eastern. 
at Sunday the 16th. And then Thursday the 20th is Summer Solstice. We're going to have the Soul Sisters seasonal circle of fire ceremony to celebrate the turn of the wheel. This is the latest one of the year, so my East Coast babies who go to bed early might be doing the replay because it's going to start at 9.30 p.m. on the East Coast. And the only thing that could possibly change that and bump it up earlier to be more convenient for everybody is if the weather precludes me from being outside at the fire pit. But if I'm going to be outside with the fire pit, I want to do it at sunset here, which is around 8.30 so we'll be about an hour into it when the sun goes down. That's Thursday. And then Friday's the full moon in Capricorn. One of two. We're heading into the lunar flip. But it's also Ye Ye's burden burning ritual that I sit in with her to share about the lunar energies. And she walks us through a ritual of letting go of our burden. And all you have to do to get to that is join her Patreon for $25 or more. Also, June is Wolf Medicine. We had a wonderful live gathering. That replay and tools are available for only $25. We just had the Venus Circle Midpoint, so it would be a good idea to get your reading and custom guide that will guide you all the way through March of 2025 when we start the new Venus Cycle. That'll be Pisces, Aries, Cusp. So that'll be interesting for a whole new section in our world. And I've got the new custom guide for the Astro 101 class updated and ready to be shipped to those who have already registered. We still have room for a few more if you want to join us July and August on Tuesday evenings to learn the basics about astrology through your own blueprints. Check that out when you get a chance. Of course, the Power Circle subscription has your monthly activations in a report form. So if you'd like to track along with what's going on in the sky and in your chart and get a bunch of bonus goodies like the month ahead forecast and lunar tools and all kinds of extra goodies, that one is pretty juicy for $9.99 a month or $99 for the year, which gives you two months for free. And these... Astro Tarot reading is a two for one where we check in with your cycles and we ask a question about here and now. And usually at the end of my blog is the Soul Sister Circle invitation video. You can check that out. It has a little bit of my story and my core values, which run through all my circles. So it's a good one if you're new to the community to check that out. So join us at any of these events if you can. Reach out directly when you need to. And thank you for being part of my community. And thank you for listening. Have a fantastic week. This is Kelly Beard of Karmic Tools signing off.